Hey there, friends. Because we're on vacation, I'm gonna try something a little different. There's not like really great Wi-Fi here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna record this video and then I'm going to um, upload it to a couple different places. But guys, check out this scenery. It's so beautiful. Um, okay, so I was, I've been reading through the book of Mark. I like to take it really slow and then just let God speak. Oh my goodness, the wind is gonna kind of be bothering me. I'll try to face the wind a little bit. <laughs> um, so I got to Mark 10, and at the end of Mark 10 is the story of blind Bartimaeus. And um, actually, Meg got a word in staff worship about blind Bart <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. And um, it struck me again what she was hearing and what God was showing me is similar. So what God has been talking to me about is prayer a lot lately. He's been talking to me about coming to him, praying and um, being persistent in prayer and being bold and confident and um, trusting God with what he is saying and uh, his word, praying his word and standing on his word and not stopping, like not giving up in prayer, but persisting. Um, so as I read about Bartimaeus and his healing, um, Jesus was showing me some more things about prayer. <laughs> so I'm gonna read um, parts of it to you and then I'm gonna stop and kind of explain what he was saying to me. Um, starting with Mark 10 verse 46. Then they reached Jericho, and as Jesus and his disciples left town, a large crowd followed him. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. That's where, you know, people that were injured or lame or blind would sit and beg for um, their income, basically, for their money. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Be quiet, many of the people yelled at him, but he only shouted louder, son of David, have mercy on me. So there's the persistence that I was talking about. When you pray, when you come to God, be bold. It's as if you're shouting, have mercy on me, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And be persistent. So it didn't, doesn't matter if you think that Jesus you know, if you, th you think at first God's not hearing you or it seems like other people are like that, no, stop praying about that. That's not really, you know, God's not concerned with that. It's too small. You're too insignificant. Um, that doesn't really matter to God. If other people are discouraging you, be persistent. Keep, keep praying. Keep shouting boldly to Jesus. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and said, tell him to come here. So this part is really interesting to me. Tell him to come here. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, they said. Come on, he's calling you. Bartimaeus threw aside his coat, jumped up, and came to Jesus. Okay, first thing that was interesting to me is Jesus said, tell him to come here. He obviously knew this guy was blind because he's sitting by the side of the road begging and he is wearing a coat that identifies him as a blind man his cloak right that's his identity right now all right so my, my bible's flying all over be, all the pages in the wind um but jesus did not go to him even knowing he was blind jesus didn't go to him he said tell him to come here so he calls Bart to come to him. And that reminded me of scripture in James that says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So it's like, God wants you to take the first step. You start drawing near to God. Just begin to turn your heart towards him. Just begin to pray, begin to call on his name and he will meet you right where you're at. So Jesus said, tell him to come to me. And so many other places in scripture, Jesus says, come to me. Come to me, you who are weary. Come to me for uh, wine and milk. It's all free. Whatever you have need of, come to me and receive. So he wants us to take action. 
Um, he doesn't want us to sit there and wait for him to come to us, even in our blindness. Like, even though he knew Bartimaeus was blind, he's like, tell him to take some action. Tell him to stand up and come to me. So Bartimaeus does. He because Jesus wants us to take action. He wants us to t make a choice to come to him. Bartimaeus immediately and eagerly and expectantly jumps up, throws off his blind man's cloak, and runs to Jesus, expecting. Then the next part, very interesting also. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus said. What do you want me to do for you? So he he's not going like, assuming the obvious he wants us again he wants us to make a choice make a choice to come to him make a choice to ask him for what we desire he doesn't assume and he doesn't make that choice for us it is interesting how god wants to partner with us in the earth he doesn't tell us what to doesn't he tells us what you know what is wise to do but he doesn't tell us the choice that we have to make he's not like forcing you to make a certain choice or to do things a certain way but he is um ah, this wind <laughs> i love it it feels really good but it's just uh hard to sit out here without a table and <laughs> the wind blowing my pages and my hair in my face okay anyways this is real life you guys <laughs> on vacation um okay so what do you want me to do for you jesus asked he is not making that choice for us. And that reminded me of the scripture that said, ask so that you might receive. He wants you to ask. He wants you to say, this is what I want from you, Lord. This is what I desire from you. Be specific. So ask for what you desire. Um, ask that you might receive, that your joy might be full, Jesus said. Um, also, keep on asking and you will receive. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. That's in Luke 11. And then, so he answers, my rabbi, the blind man said, I want to see. That also struck me. He's saying, my rabbi. He is making it personal. He's saying, you are my teacher my teacher, my healer, my deliverer. That's my prayer lately too. My rabbi, my teacher, Jesus, I want to see. Late, and that as God's been teaching me about prayer, I've been praying that my eyes would be open, that God would open my spiritual eyes. And I've been praying for others that their spiritual eyes would be open, that we could see clearly, that we could see the way that he sees. This is what I'm asking him for myself lately. Teach me to see, open my eyes, my rabbi, my teacher, teach me how to see the way you see. Teach me how to see spiritual things and not just natural things. Open my my eyes to see from your perspective and that reminds me of a scripture in Colossians I think believe or Ephesians 1 enlighten the eyes of my heart so that I might understand and see I want to see spiritual realities that are far more real and tangible than earthly facts that might be going on right now and Jesus said what's happening in heaven is going to come to the earth what's happening in the spiritual realm I want you to see it be, from my perspective because that's what I'm gonna do as as it let your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven on earth as it is in heaven and then Jesus replies to him oh I gotta get back to it the wind is starting to rain too all the elements today um, and Jesus said to him go for your faith has healed you instantly the man could see and he followed Jesus down the road and that is what I believe Jesus is saying to us he says go your faith has healed you your faith the, the fact that you believed God and asked him for spiritual sight means instantly you will see you will begin to see by faith and not by human limitations anymore you are going to see clearly in order see he followed jesus down the road he you want 
to see the way Jesus sees so that you can follow Jesus. See clearly in order to follow Jesus closely. All right, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna let you guys go, but um, thank you for watching, and I would love to know your thoughts on this as well. Ask Jesus today, open my spiritual eyes. I want to see my teacher. Teach me to see the way that you teach, the, the way that you see. Enlighten the eyes of my heart and open my eyes to see clearly spiritual things and not human, not with human limitations. All right, I, I love you guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.